And now you too. Joey brings it back again. Callie coming at you from the West Coast, the best coast on this Saturday afternoon. It's kind of breezy. It's kind of cold, but you know what? It feels nice. Sometimes you like to feel, you know, the different types of weather. We're not used to getting that cold, crisp wind, you know, and it feels nice. So I'm not complaining, guys. We're staying in, but it feels good. I hope this video finds you guys well, you and yours. Man, we are in some trying times, but we just got to all hang in there, guys. I know we can do it. And if I can help myself, help a few of my buddies, you know, pass the time with the 10 minute video, showing some cards, the things we love to talk about. I'm gonna keep doing this, guys. You know, I'm having a great time. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different than what I have been doing. Today, I got a mail day. I'm gonna show some cards, some cool, cool cards. So, hey man, let's have some fun. Let's talk about the thing that we love. I'm gonna show you a couple cards. Maybe you've seen them before, maybe you haven't. It's gonna be fun, guys. The way I like to do here on my channel, it's Joey Brings It. We're talking cards. West Coast Kelly, here we go. So, man, my desk is a mess right now, man. I have cards. I'm just sorting like mad piles and piles of cards. Some of them I'm selling. Some of them I'm getting ready to send PSA. Some of them are just, I'm just putting them in order, man. It's cray cray. But today's video is going to be all about a mail day. So let's get started with the first one. First package I have here, coming from none other than Slab City, from Garrett Card Cutter. I picked up an order from him on one of the sets that I'm working on. I had to slice this open already. Let's see if I can get into it. Doing it with one hand, guys, the way I do it. One hand, one take, no edits. This one might be a problem. It's in there. So there we go. Nice. So this is the card that I got. Those of you who have, who have been following my channel lately, you guys know that I'm uh, collecting the 1972 Tops. That's a giant set, man. A really cool set. 780 some odd cards. I'm doing it autographed. I needed this one and Garrett had it. I sent him a quick message. Hey, man, I want that Vita Blue. Check that out. Gorgeous Vita Blue autograph. I love the colors on this 1972 set. It doesn't get any more 70s than that. And will I ever complete the whole set? Eh. Am I having a great time? Yeah. Am I buying really, really nice examples? Yes. They're going to hold their value. If I ever need to get out of the set, is these are going to be easy to turn and burn but gorgeous card i don't see myself ever getting rid of that and to tell you the truth i'm probably going to send this to psa man that's a great looking card thank you garrett he also has a little note here on the back free stuff love you blue <laughs> crossed out and he put joey love you blue is it for the vita blue or you guys know Garrett used to live uh, in Texas back in the day. Or is it for the Houston Oilers? Love you, Blue. I don't know, man. I really appreciate it, Garrett. What in the heck is in here? Let's see if we can get him out. When it has the words free on it, you got to love it. Dan Fouts. Ooh, with the autograph. Nice. 1982 record breaker, Dan Fouts. So that would make this, what, an 83 card, right? With that blue Sharpie autograph. I love it, man. Hey, man, you guys, I'm from Cali. This is my second favorite team of all time. I grew up being a Dallas Cowboy fan, but this was my second favorite team. Um, man, Dan Fouts, Air Coriel. Man, we used to love Coach Don Coriel. Charlie Joyner. Chuck Muncie. The tight end with Kellen Winslow. These guys could ball back in the day. San Diego Chargers. I love it. Thank you, Garrett, man. Much appreciated. The big G. Thank you. I love it. What else did I get on this mail day? Oh, yeah. Check this one out, guys. 
1960 Topps Pump C Green All-Star Rookie Trophy with the autograph. Check that out. This is not the easiest card in the world to pick up autograph. It could be pricey. Um, you just got to be patient and kind of know what you're doing. I want to show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. So there is a card just like this listed on eBay. And this is what got me hunting for this one. I saw one posted. And look what it said. There it is right there. Pretty cool. 1960 Tops. Pumpsy Green Auto Rookie with the PSA DNA 4.5. Only one higher. Historic card. Look at that price. $249.99 or best offer. Really nice card. Pumpsy Green. Nice card, no doubt. The second best in existence. So it got me thinking, well, which one is the best in existence? So I started searching. And look what I found. This one right here is the best in existence. That was a 4.5. This one is the five. So this is the best in existence, right hither. $75 sold for, but that's, you can do even better than that sometimes. When there's a or best offer. Congrats, Joey brings it, one, two, three. Your offer was accepted for $50. So 50 bucks, I got the highest graded card in existence of this. Just awesome, man. I am collecting this set. Um, now this is a set for sure that I will not collect the whole damn set. It, it's just like 400 and some cards. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing the what I consider my era, the vintage, semi-vintage from 1960, which are these, all the way down to like maybe to the 80, what? Maybe even to, I was thinking 87, like where, you know, Conseco's card is there. Maybe even pick up one or two more recent than that. Maybe like a Jeter. But there's no way in the world I'm going to go down to these new modern cards. First of all, I, that's out of my budget. Second of all, I don't understand the pricing. I don't understand the scarcity. I don't understand anything about that. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to stick with the first 1960 through maybe 87. I don't know. I haven't even counted. It'll be more reasonable. But look at this card. I'm going to send it into PSA DNA to get it reholder so I can have that red flip lighthouse holder for sure. That'll be the best $8 I've ever spent. I love this card. Check it out, man. The highest graded in existence on the PSA DNA side. Last card I picked up. Like I said, I'm working on this set. So what else did I get? Check this one out, man. None other than the Carlton Fisk. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The way I love to collect. With the gym, mint, 10. Beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. What I really like about this one is the card grade is really, really nice. Um, however, someone um, graded this in a way that I don't do personally with the trading card. I don't ever, ever collect that way. So I'm going to spend another, you know, it's probably going to be $10 to get this one re authenticate I don't know what the word is where they review it and they'll put it in the same red flip lighthouse holder but it will say 1973 tops uh, and it'll put the number of the card guaranteeing it's, it's authentic so like I said collecting the tops all-star rookie trophies and what's really cool about this card or actually a little bit it, it, somebody correct me if I'm wrong um, significant is Every year from 1960 to 72, they had the All-Star Trophy. And then in 1973 is when they moved over to the All-Star uh, Rookie Cup. You know, this was the Rookie Trophy. This was the Rookie Cup. You know, if anybody knows the story of why they did that or, you know, 
of anything, any type of background of that, I'd love to hear it. Regardless, I'm still collecting these, man. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got a nice start on this set. Maybe I'll do a, a where am I at one of these days when I have a little bit of time. Right now, like I said, I've just been really, really busy sorting cards, getting some of them ready to be sold, some of them ready to be put back into my boxes. Some of them, I just sold that Hank Aaron right there. Uh, some of them getting ready to be sent to PSA. Look at that one right there. George Sisler. Autograph. 1940 play ball. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this card. My goodness gracious. Y.A. Tittle with the silver autograph. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Another card right there matching. Sam Huff. That one's ready to be put away. Man, I just love collecting cards. No doubt. Richie Ashburn. Okay, guys, over 10 minutes. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. Or, <laughs> I just can't make a short video, man. It's, I was thinking in my mind, seven minutes. Seven minutes. You can do it. It doesn't work, man. I love my cards too much. I love showing them. Man, put on my videos in the background. You know, do some errands, pay some bills. Put on some Joey brings it in the background. You can kind of time yourselves. I need to do something. I got 10 minutes. Put on one of my videos. And you don't need a timer. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys soon. More mail days. I'm going to get my PSA orders are coming in. Finally, <laughs> um, I got a couple of submissions that are going to be coming in. A couple more mail days. I'm going to be selling some more. This is a mail day that I got recently from Garrett Card Cutter. Thanks, man. With the Dan Fouts autograph thrown in on top. I love it. Thank you, Garrett. And like I said, everybody be good. Be blessed. Big love. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your friend, Joey Brings It. The West Coast, Cali. Wishing you guys the best. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.